So some of my subscribers have asked me to do a van tour, so I'm going to do a quick one today. It's a beautiful overcast day, so so not too hot, nice breeze, so <laughs> good day to be outside. She is a 2017 GMC Savannah. She was just a regular cargo van. Then I took her to LA. There's a place in LA, I did an earlier video on it, this high top. Two foot extension with uh, reinforced wood on the sides and on the top and then the two windows. Made all the difference in the world. I don't have much on the doors yet. I've been meaning to go ahead and take that black part off and, and put something in the doors that I can actually use as a storage area too. Every little bit counts. Right inside the door, I have what I like to refer to as my little garden. <laughs> I had a white picket fence for the garden there, but she's up above. I'll show you that here in a minute. The back of this right here is the uh, closet. I actually have a closet in my van. Now this thing is new here. This is crazy. It's one of those things that actually will pull out, but I need to make the cupboard around it. Hmm. For now, I just have it covered. But yeah, that's it right inside the door. I have this little thing because it's just an easy thing to uh, clean off and keep the stones and things out of your van. That's my cupboard right there. As you can see, my doors have kind of come a little uneven. Going down the road, I tell you, all these kind of things happen constantly. This is the front area. I made this little shelf here. Well, to begin with, I took out the passenger seat. And then I made this little shelf. The, the refrigerator was just sitting on the floor and I thought, well, I've wasted all that space under there. And now she's so much easier because she's higher. I don't have to bend down. My Jackery fits perfect right there. This is my refrigerator. It is a cuppet and I have not had a lick of problems with her. Um, yeah. Behind my seat here is another battery that's hooked up to another solar panel. There's my inverter. My charge controller is up here where I can get a good look at it. And then I put the power strip up here so that I can hook up to the inverter. Uh, nothing really fancy about the front. Up here, um, where it's, where the high top, they left part of the cab. See, they didn't, they could, they could have removed that, but I asked them to leave it. That way I have all this extra space up here. Things up here are the things I get into pretty much every day. My cooking, um, extra clothes, my towel. <laughs> up here are the, the things I also use on a pretty much daily basis. That's one thing I learned. Things you use on a daily basis, keep out and the other things kind of put away. With the side doors and the two windows up above and the two windows in the driver's area, I always get a wonderful breeze through here. I don't even have the fans going and I have such a great breeze. You can tell are not professionally done, but I've learned as I go. I've had to redo some things. Um, up here above, you know, there's, there's just that little rack was just a little thing I found in Goodwill that I built the, the windows out like this. I have bees that don't seem to realize the door is open and they can fly out. But yeah, I built the windows up, up just to have things, little shelves. I've built the little shelves back here. Yeah. These little boxes just hold all the little whatnots. There's so many little whatnots. One of these boxes I have in the house right now, it holds all the stuff for my coffee. Just recently, 
I got my cousin here to help me kind of make this into a couch. Let me back up so you can see it a little better. Now, when I go to sleep, it just um, has this thing right here that I just unhook, drop it down under the wood back there, and it turns back into a bed. But, or I can even just drop it down on the shelf and leave it as a couch and it's big enough that I can just sleep on it like I would if I was napping. Here's the other window. Here's the picket fence I was talking about. You've probably seen that in previous videos. Then my closet which I'm about to downsize. I had this closet because I was still doing traveling work. And see, I needed to hang things, but it holds an awful lot, but it takes up an awful lot of space too. So I'm gonna downsize that. Of course, underneath the bed, there's just a ton of storage. Here's some plastic shelves that are also just um, lots of area to store things. This is just an old dresser drawer I found that happens to fit right on top of those shelves absolutely perfectly. Let me just show you in here. Picked that electric range up at an estate sale for six bucks. When I'm at a campground and I'm can plug in, I can use that. But yeah, this is just storage for different things, all my pots and pans and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, more food. <laughs> Lots of food in here stored. Down here, I have uh, two little cooking things I don't use very often. Little a little uh, crock pot when I'm in when I'm in camp. You know, I can plug those into. I can plug them through. I can plug right into my power strip. But um, yeah, let's go to the back and we'll check that out real quick so this is the back of my van i got one of those little things there at a garage sale that i just cut in half and and uh screwed right to the top there hold all my extra little shoes and everything back up in there is all extra kind of wood and everything i'm forever doing something can't got to keep all the wood with me but as you can see this is the back of the couch um, I love these plastic bins. You can pick them up at garage sales and estate sales or even Walmart's ch cheap enough. This is a Dokio solar panel and it charges the battery that's behind my driver's seat. And I'll tell you, it has been a godsend. Extra water. Always need extra water. Some more plastic. I have to redo this. I like to put little sticky notes there that tell me exactly what's in each bin. I'll usually put a sticky note on the top of this that says what's behind these also, so I don't end up having to take everything out when I'm looking for one little thing. But yeah, that's it. I have right here that I put across and put out when I need uh, things to stop the bugs. You can get it by the yard and it's ends up being pretty cheap and then just use your magnets to hold it up there anyway folks that's it let me back up but yeah that is hobo joe's setup like i said did it pretty much all myself and um i've learned as i go and it's not perfect but it's definitely home and I'm still working on her. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your interest. Till next time. Bye.